Hey guys, good morning. Raven, how are you? It is a rainy day here in Vegas. Uh, so I just want to um, touch base, say hi, because I'm in a lot of traffic and I'm bored as fuck. Um, <laughs> so I uh, just kind of want to update you on what's going on in my life, my witchy life. Um, oh, the lights are out. Well, no wonder. And there's ginormous puddles that you can literally swim in. Anyway. Um, so, what's going on in my life, witchy? Well, my, um, daughter, I have a daughter who, <laughs> unfortunately, was fired from her job, so she is, um, sorry, I got the, um, defrost on, anyway, um, so I have a daughter who lost a job, and she's, she's in desperate need, um, she I don't think she pushes as much as she should. Um, but she's been getting her resumes out. And I think nowadays you need to do so much more than just send your resume out. You need to follow up. You need to show up. Show your face. Call and ask if they got your resume. Find out who's looking at the resume and call that person directly. I mean, that's how I got uh, one of my jobs here in uh, Vegas. I, I kind of lied. Uh, and I called and told them I was returning this woman's call when that was not true at all. But guess what? I got the job because I did that. Um, you got to push. So anyway, so I did a, um, a spell for her last night. She said I could. And um, so what I did was um, I got, we've got a shop here called Psychic Eye and they sell, um, candles uh, that look like women, women's bodies, nude. So what I did is I put a picture of my daughter on the candle, cleansed it, of course. First, you could do that by many ways. Look it up. There's so many videos on it. Um, I put her picture on it. You, if you have any hair, you can add hair. You can, I also put um, a picture that she drew when she was a little girl on the um, on the altar that I did the spell on and it's going to be a, a seven day spell and I'm going to light the candle for seven days and burn it down until it's done for, for the seventh day and the the job that she wants I, I did a, a mock like front of the store with the name of the store over it and her walking to the store so thus moving the candle forward every seven days um, I looked up the herbs, certain herbs to use, and sometimes I look up herbs, but a lot of times I go through my herbs and I do it based on how I feel. I do have some background to um, herbalism. I, I've studied it. I'm not. I'm no expert by any means, but as with most things in um, witchcraft, you need to go by uh, your feeling on things, and if something doesn't feel right, then don't use it because it's probably not going to work for you. Um, and I put my intent into it. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to have my daughter do a candle home as well and put her intent into it and do this every night. Um, I can't stress to you enough that it's not about opening a spell book and following the recipe word for word and a lot of people I know when you start you you do need a place to start but the more you start doing witchcraft you realize it is your intent it's your feeling behind it honestly if you didn't have anything you know herbs or crystals or you know candles or it, it's that's okay your your intent is enough your intent is enough um so you'll learn that as you go. Of course, you need a starting place and you do need to learn what certain things stand for and see if that resonates with you. Um, so I will let you know how the spell goes. I'm, I'm hopeful she really wants this job and she's kind of getting desperate for money. She's, you know, 
they live paycheck to paycheck like a lot of us do and so yeah so anyway that's what's going on there um I have not been I was so sick y'all oh my god I don't get sick number one so I got this flu that's been going around it knocked me and my husband off our asses for a week and it, it yeah it was it was bad I've heard it I mean it, it's killed people it's killed a few kids it's horrible it's just it's so it's horrible so if you're sick please go to the doctor if your child's sick Take the fucking day off and bring your kid to the doctor. It's not worth losing your kid over because you gotta. I know we all got jobs to go do, but. Anyway, I don't know why I said that, but I did. So take your kid to the doctor. Um. So, yeah, so I have not been. I was getting into my telekinesis. I love doing it, and you know what? The more you do it, the more. You, get in tune and you're starting to feel it and I started to see improvement I was moving the side wheel with my hands and um, then I started to be able to move it not in a circle but with my mind and stop using my hands um, I could see it moving um, very lightly so I, I got a lot of work to do um, but um, I, I do plan on probably buying Trevor Sevens, um, his, going on his website and learning more. He's really good at what he does. He turns pages of books. I, I just, I think that's so cool. Um, I mean, I, shit, I would, wouldn't you just love to like be somewhere and you got some doubter being like an asshole to you and you just sit there and you look at something on the table and you like make it fly at him or something I, I just that would be so cool to me <laughs> I don't know anyway um, but yeah I'm learning on really honing in on my um, energy and we all have it I, I have no special skills in any way shape or form you can all do it and learn we all have it inside of us guys it's just the day and age we live in like ooh, look at this shit going through a goddamn river Holy shit, excuse me. Let me get over. Sorry. Um, yeah, we all have it inside of us. It's just the day and age we live in that um, people have walked away from this stuff. We can do so much with our minds and our energy. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, look into it if you're interested. Uh, so, that's what I'm working on. And I'm thinking of uh, maybe starting to take in a few classes on herbalism. It's like... I, I do want to do a lot, probably like a lot of us, and um, you have to make a commitment, I, and my meditation too, I'm slacking off, and when I do it at night, I fall asleep, so I need to, I got to change things up, I need to make a plan, or it's not going to work, and I will waste this year, and I don't want to do that, but I will say, the, the stuff that I planted for in bulk, the sage, the lavender, and the basil has sprouted, and I am shocked as shit, because if any of you have known me in the past, I have I have had two black thumbs, so I think I have a black one, and I'm getting a semi-green one. The green color is coming out. Um, so I do have some plants around my house now, I think like six that I haven't killed, and I've had them for a long time, and I actually have finally grown shit from seed, and it's doing something, and I'm thrilled to death. So, anyway, I hope you all are doing good. I hope you're having a, a good 2019. I'm, I'm glad January's over because that energy was all kinds of fucked up. I don't know what was going on, but I need to, I need to get back on track. I don't know about you guys. I, I need to, like, get back on track. So, anyway, I hope everybody's great. I hope you all have a blessed day, blessed month in February 2019. Blessed be, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. What the fuck?